Start, you want to go there in style with some new wheels. That's right, and you do need some new wheels. Tim is being funny talking about he's in the anchor lot. What are you trying to yeah. say, Tim? Yeah, did you take my credit card again, Tim? <laughs> there he is. No, I just mean I feel like I, I see all these rides around me, and I feel like I'm in the anchors only parking lot at the station. I'm not allowed access in there. <laughs> Doug Smith, vice president of St. Louis Auto Dealers Association. We're on what they call the million dollar mile right now. Uh, where some high rolling cars are, and uh, we got one behind us right here. This is the Ford Bronco, right? Ford Bronco with the Raptor trim package. Uh, they've only been making these for about six months. So I've never actually seen one in person, but we've got one here at the show. Uh, beautiful car, supercharged engine. Uh, it is something to behold. How much? Uh, about 100000 100000 There we go. All right, how about this one right here? That's a McLaren 570S uh, in uh, what they call Ventura Orange. Uh, retails for about 170,000. It's got the uh, the gold wing doors. It's got uh, uh, it's you know, about 700 horsepower. 700. It'll get you, get you where you want to go fast. Get you to work very quickly. And you know, normally I know uh, a lot of folks leave their Bentley at home when it's snowy weather outside. Right. They don't have to do that anymore. That's right. That's the Continental uh, Bentley Continental GT. It is a 6.0 liter engine, all wheel drive, and heated seats. So get you through the snow, get you through the snow comfortably, uh, and uh, you know, get you there quickly. Yeah, price tag on that one? About 329,000. 329,000. Yeah. Uh, somebody's got a birthday coming up next month, just saying. Uh, just dropping that out there. Uh, tell me about the auto, auto industry in general. Coming back? Coming back, coming back strong. Uh, we've had supply chain issues for about 24 months. Yeah. Uh, those are improving. They're improving slowly. Uh, I think you'll start seeing more vehicles on dealer lots. I think you'll start seeing uh, more inventory available on websites. Uh, it's been a long time. You know, we've really been uh, struggling with uh, uh, having stuff to sell since the pandemic but yeah. uh, i think by the end of 23 you'll see it very close to where it was in 2020. and you've got more cars this year at the show than last year about 100 more cars than we had last year last year was really a struggle getting inventory just because it wasn't there yeah. uh, the manufacturing was shut down because of uh, supply chain uh, disruptions and uh, it's been much simpler to get uh, uh, inventory this year and i think we put on a very very nice to sh nice show starting on the friday instead of the thursday this we'll year but you got the holiday weekend, which which is helpful. Right. We've got uh, today. We start from noon to nine. Uh, Saturday and Sunday we go from eleven to nine, uh, and then on Monday, Martin Luther King Day, we go from ten to five. And um, we're looking forward to that. It's a new format for us, and uh, we think we'll have very good attendance. There you go. Come check it out at St. Louis Auto Show this weekend, right here at Downtown America Center and the Dome. Tell you what, some nice cars out here. Make a great gift for somebody's birthday next month. <laughs> Keep it right here. We got more coming your way. Fox Two News in the morning.